final speaker is Roger Goodsiff. <laughs> My friend, it's an honour to be with you today at this critical juncture in Iran's history. I'm a Labour Member of Parliament in the House of Commons, and I join my colleagues from all the other parties in Parliament who are represented here today to stand in solidarity with you and the brave people of Iran who have risen up against the Ayatollahs and their murderous authoritarian regime. My friends, the time, the time for a change of policy towards Iran is long overdue. The United Kingdom and our colleagues in the European Union should join with the United States in recognizing democratic aspirations of the people of Iran and the, and the, desire, and the desire for freedom and democracy. European leaders must now recognize the Mullah's regime for what it is. It's, an, it's a terrorist regime which exports terrorism through his Hezbollah. And my friends, it can never be a partner for peace in the Middle East. The United Kingdom and the EU must recognize the NCRI and Madam Rajani's 10-point plan for the future of Iran. <laughs> and, it must also, and it must also initiate a process of accountability at the UN to hold the regime and its leaders to account for decades of human rights abuses and for the massacring of thousands of political prisoners. My friends, long live a free and democratic Iran.